Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee and for our first video of the decade we're going to be celebrating the top 10 nail videos of the decade. Before we do, I just want to say for a new decade sale, I have up to 70% off on products on my site Divine by Natasha Lee. So if you like nail art, nails and anything glittery, head on over there. At 10, we have white chrome nails. These were an all-time favourite of mine and at 458,841 views, they come in at number 10. Look how beautiful they are. I still will always love these and this design is a go-to for me. I loved the design so much when I saw the stick on nails, I decided to copy it. I had so much fun creating this and if you want to watch the whole video or indeed any of the videos in this list, I'll put full links to all of the videos in the description down below as well as some of the products. At number 9, celebrating the 25th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, we have our Disney Mickey and Minnie Mouse nails coming in at 500,000. 209 views. That's just over half a million. This Disney design did go viral in India a couple of years ago. I still don't know why, but that's what's helped towards its popularity. At number 8, we have the top 10 nail stamping hacks at 504,419 views. This video I really did put my heart and soul into because so many people struggle with stamping and I wanted you guys to learn from all my hints, tips and mistakes. I still come back to this video myself when I haven't stamped for a while and I'm struggling with it. So go and take a look and see what you think. Yeah, every single one's got a story to tell. In at number 7 it's the video that sparked a whole trend of disgusting nails being squeezed and stuff coming out and bums and things, I am sorry for that. It is my DIY Halloween exploding pimple nails. That is hand cream, in case you're wondering. I came up with this because everywhere it was pimple popping videos and pimple popping cakes and all that sort of stuff and I thought, there has to be a way of doing this with nails, you know, obviously. It was gross, it was disgusting. I love a challenge, it was so much fun. If you want to watch how I did the whole video, then there's a link in the description down below. Ooh, down below, gross. At number 6 with 646,094 views and probably the reason that me and Chris first started chatting is Water Marble Polish Mountain 100 Plus Coats Challenge. This was fun. Do you know when Chris did this? I loved it when she put the challenge out there and I was so desperate to have a go which dissipated about three hours in to be honest with you. But I still look back at this video, watch it and feel the sense of dread, mortification exhaustion and hilarity all at the same time. It was so much fun. It was also a little bit hideous at the end. I did wonder about that one if it was disturbing, but you know. At number five with 653,138 views is my secrets to long strong nails. Now this was a highly requested video because when I'd started out, I was putting pictures and videos up, you guys were looking at my nails and you were like, what is different about them, what's she got on them, why can she grow them that long? So I decided to let you all into my secret and how I repair breaks. I still stick by this video, I still use this technique, I've just changed products through the years as I've found something more and more suitable. Let me know if this video helped you, I know it started a whole load of gel overlays. At number 4 with 1,925,027 views, it's my DIY make your own nail art tools. Now again this video was because so many people were commenting on my water marbling video and other videos saying they love it but they couldn't afford the products, they couldn't get them in the country that they lived in, so I decided to spend a little bit of time trial and erroring with things I had around the house 
to make my videos accessible for everyone. This video still continues to be super popular and I love that it inspires so many to try out. At number three is the first video that ever really went viral for me and it currently sits with 4,265,051 and 51 views. This was my Russian style double sided money. It's a luxe blue velvet. I fell in love with the nail polish I had. I had this idea in my head of what I wanted to create. I tried lots of different colours out while I was researching. Settled on a Reba blue from Essie and I still adore this look. It's so beautiful. I love trying out different things with nails. I don't tend to use nail polish as much these days, but let me know if you want to see me use more nail polish again. It's been ages since I've pulled it out. To be honest with you, it's because I get fed up waiting for it to dry and trying not to knock it most of the time. However, I've got some new products, including Christine's selection, so maybe I should start giving it a go again. Let me know what you think. So many people first discovered my channel from this video. Is this the video that helped you discover my channel? Let me know. This may not have been the most practical thing, putting the crystals underneath, but I think honestly, other than the white iridescent nails at the beginning, these are my all time favorites. I love this look and I keep meaning to go back to it. I've never quite found a gel polish that matches the Aruba Blue from Essie that really has that wow factor with a matte over the top of it. I think these nails are so classy and they are so beautiful and they are so perfect for prom. At number two, we have the video that sparked a million trolls. 5,714,058 and 58 views. It's my DIY fidget spinner nails. I loved doing these. I loved the challenge of mixing professional with consumer products. I liked the fact there was something I had to try and work out how to do it. I did love it. What I wasn't quite prepared for was how quickly it would go viral and how much hatred you get. I absolutely love this video though because it was fun, my boys got involved with it, it was the first time we'd sort of done a bit of a family video, I included Maggie's stuff in it, I included Phil's stuff in it, it really did feel like a family affair. I hoped it would be popular, I never ever expected it to go like it did, it, it was insane, the speed at which it grew. It was amazing, I ended up in Time Magazine and Cosmopolitan and everything and all the sort of places that a little chubby ginger from Wales doesn't expect to end. I got there and that was great. However, it did teach me a very valuable lesson that you have to be prepared with that sort of level of exposure. There's so much hatred that comes your way too and it was a very big eye opener for me and the start of me deciding to remove a lot of my personal life from the public avenue. I decided I love what I do but I need to protect me and my family. So there are downsides to it, unfortunately, but I still love this and I still have that fidget spinner in my drawer. At number one, we've got some OG content here with 13,960,431 views we have how to create water marble nails. I love that this is number one. I do and I don't. I don't because my voice is horrendous. My filming is done on an iPhone 4S on a camping table. The reason that water is shaking is my belly is touching the table every time I talk. And every time I talk and my belly touches the table, because it's a little fold out camping table, it shakes and therefore the water shakes. And then I had to transfer all this footage onto an iPad that I had at the time. Now we're going back years. I've had this channel nine years and this is towards the beginning of the channel. I had to transfer it all onto my iPad and then proceed to edit it on my iPad. That was hard. That was very, very hard. But I love that this is the video that is number one because I created this video. I had no real idea about YouTube at the time. I'd done an open day, which was about water marble nail art. And I'd been asked to attend as one of the sort of the guest nail artists, which was amazing. Lots of people couldn't make it. And a lot of nail techs came up to me afterwards and said, 
please could you do a video on it? I couldn't make it to the actual open day. I'd love to learn how to do it. I didn't know about YouTube as a business. I didn't understand about making money from YouTube. I didn't understand any of that stuff. I set up the channel to help and inspire others. So I created this video showing all the different methods that I'd done on the open day and all the different things that you could do. And then I shared it on YouTube. I did not realize that anyone could see it. I thought that only the people I gave the link to would see it. And therefore, when it started to go viral, very slowly, but it did, when it started to go viral, I wasn't prepared for it. This is where my channel began. I began really with this video doing it to help fellow nail technicians for no reason other than wanting to help them. And through this video and its dodgy editing and horrendous voiceover, I've got to the point that I am today and I am so grateful to all the people and all of you that have supported me this far in and I can't wait to see where this continues to go with all of you by my side. Thank you very much for watching today. If you've enjoyed the music that's playing in the background, then it is from an amazing group called Yababa. And I fell in love with this. I do know the lead singer. I'm gonna put that out there. And when she shared this on Facebook, I was like, oh my gosh, please can I share that video with my followers because I love it so much. If you want to download the track from your Baba, then there are links in the description to Spotify and iTunes and make sure you go and check them out. I'll include their socials down below. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. I'm so excited for this year. I can't wait to share all my little adventures with you guys. Look after yourselves and I'll see you all very, very soon.